Welcome back in the Chapel Spotlight, the all new Hamatech S1. Another one of these smart multimeters. Oh, this one looks really cool too. Definitely something futuristic going on, liking it. Let's take a look. This is a 4,000 count smart multimeter and it does do current as well, should be interesting. So nothing nice there than a brand new multimeter. Uh, Hamatech, first time I've seen this name. Let's hope it's gonna bring some good vibes. In the box itself, we have our three AAA batteries. Yes, three AAAs, what it takes to power this little beast. And as well, we do have a little handy dandy booklet, operating instruction manual. And it is in actually multiple languages, Russian, Italian, German, French, and of course, English. Finally, we get our leads, test leads. Now these have a rating of CAT, uh, CAT 2, 600 volts, 10 amps. Um, they seem to be okay. We'll take a look at those a little bit later. All in all, um, a decent little package. And I really gotta say, I do like the color of this meter. It has, oh, what is it? Kind of like that WaveTech blue. Remember WaveTech? Ah, yes, WaveTech. That amazing blue. Oh, I just loved it. Now, eventually, it went on to become red when they got bought out, and uh, the colors definitely changed. But boy, when I think of Wave Tech, I think of that nice kind of steel teal blue. Just loving it. So, that really, really has the same look. First impressions, fit, and finish are surprisingly good. Uh, quite a solid little meter. The bol um, holster itself seems really. Um, more than adequate quite uh, quite nice design has those grips here on the side so uh, even if your hands get a little wet or greasy you shouldn't drop it and, uh, and speaking of dropping uh, there is no sort of drop protection uh, built in uh, at least i don't see any indication of a fall per se um, what it can or cannot handle but once again it seems to be pretty robust in terms of overall build quality um sorry this meter does not do capacitance Taking a look at the back of the meter, here is our NCV indicator as well as a flashlight. Bottom left, you can see we have our high current input. In the middle, we have our common or negative. And on the far right, we have our diode, continuity, voltage, resistance, and frequency inputs. Finally, at the top, we have our NCV indicator on the left, so we get a visual as well as an audio cue. And on the right, we do have our continuity visual indicator as well. Cool. Alrighty, let's turn the meter on. Hold down on that power button and away we go. Bada boom, bada bing, bada bang. Look at that nice auto display. Oh yeah, not bad looking, really no bleeding, which is nice. Uh, we do have a slight, perhaps a bit of bleeding on the upper and uh, bottom left quadrant of the display, but really nothing too severe. Overall, um, pretty even and uh, yeah, I like it. I think I can work with that. Hey, I have no choice, I gotta do this review. Okay, let's see how smart this Hanmatech is. Starting off with our voltage precision. 250 millivolts is what we wanna see. Survey says 0.593 mega ohm. What the heck? All right, Houston, we have a problem. So it's not able to pick up that low millivolt reading. Let's go over to the standard volts. We should be seeking, seeing 2.5 volts, and that's more like it. 2.509 volts, looking good. So yeah, issues in the millivolt range. All right, right now we're sitting at five volts DC. Let's just bring it down, 4.5 volts. Showing as, oh, okay, a little slow, but there it is. Uh, let's do four volts even. There we are, 4.04. So not the fastest meter out there, that's for darn sure. Three volts. Come on. Granny was slow, but she was 99. Okay, 3.0. Let's take it down to one volt, even Steven. 1.0 volts. 1.023. All right. Uh, here we go. Any lower. 0 0.922, 0 0.90, 0 0.70. And we lose it. Yeah, that's it. That's all. So basically after about, oh, just under a volt, 
We are dead in the water with this meter. Take a quick look at voltage sitting at, uh, well, 790 millivolts right now, just under 800 millivolts. And as you can see, yeah, this thing is just no good below 800 millivolts. All right, let's take it up. Now you might've noticed this is a new power supply, also a Hanmatec. Um, I'll probably be reviewing this uh, at the end of the month, so stay tuned for that. All right, sitting at 800 millivolts, let's take it up to one volt even. Even Steven, and there we are. Now, one thing I have to admit, I did put this Hanmatec uh, DC power supply up and uh, against a couple of calibrated multimeters. Now, I gotta tell you, this power supply is very, very accurate. So we're pretty well um, close to calibration standard here with this power supply. All right, let's bring it up, shall we? Let's go up to a whopping 5.10 volts and boom, 5.10 volts. Hey, looking good. Let's take it up again. Let's go to 15. Let's make it 15 even Steven. All right, 15 volts even. 15.03, awfully close. No complaints, that's for darn sure. Up, up and away, 23 volts. And 23.04, yeah, wow, that's pretty accurate little Hamatech S1. Liking it, liking it. And we're gonna just max it out now. We're maxing at 32 volts with the Hamatech HM305 power supply. And 32.05 showing us on the Hamatech S1 multimeter, smart multimeter. So as you can see, this little S1 is um, accurate, nice. It is slow though, it is slow to range and it does not do anything under 800 millivolts. So basically below a volt, even the SOL. But if you're not in a hurry, um, it does seem to be fairly accurate. All right, finally in high current, sitting at 5.1 amps and no worries here. So yeah, you know, ah, uh, eh. Alrighty, we're now in dialed mode. Here we go, LEDs, starting off with the green. Can't say I have a lot of confidence here, but it's worth a try. And well, it is barely lit and we do have a forward voltage drop indicator. Same for the yellow LED, good stuff. And the red, yes, lit with that forward voltage drop. Over to the blue LED, come on, come on. No can do for the blue. And the white, no. So three out of five in terms of illumination and a forward voltage drop. Yeah, actually better than I expected. And for all my dial friends out there, no worries, we don't have a nice audible beep, but we do have that forward voltage indicator. Good stuff. Diode output voltage is around two volts. Okay, now we're looking at resistance. This has a 40 mega ohm threshold sitting at 100k right now looking good let's bring it up to 300k 600k and one mega ohm well you know what that actually was fast let's try two mega ohm do do give me three give me four four mega ohm sold to the guy in the back waving the hamatech seven mega ohm looking good 11 mega ohm yeah why not a little bit slower getting up the uh, ranges, but uh, you know what? Overall, I gotta say, better than expected. So if you wanna do a size comparison here, we can see that the uh, S1 is dwarfed by the Habitest HT118A, and in stark contrast, it is actually dwarfing the little rich meters 403B. So um, it's definitely a small diminutive meter, uh, but it's not tiny. Continuity is next. Yes, one of my favorite times of the show. Here we go. Three, two, one. Wow, slow. So you definitely do not want to be in a rush when it comes time to do that continuity check. It is latched. It is loud. And we do have that nice visual indicator. But oh my gosh, it is so slow. Ah. All right, I've got the Pro Masters in my hot little hands. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh my God, just as slow, yeah. 
Believe it or not, it's probably a tad louder, but it is still slow. Ah, too bad. In all fairness as well, this is an auto meter, so it has to figure out that this is going to continuity mode. So there's definitely at least a second delay because it's so smart. Seventy six point six DBA, the maximum output in continuity. Okay, let's face it, the person that buys this type of multimeter is probably going to be spending most of its time or her time measuring stuff like this. Yeah, batteries. Um, these smart meters tend to draw the um, not so savvy multimeter crowd. And hey, that is not a bad thing. Anything to get people into the multimeter realm is a good thing. But uh, let's just see how good it does at measuring a standard nine volt battery. All right, in auto mode. And nice and fast, 9.14 9 volts. So yeah, even though it is in auto mode, it is fast. And that will definitely work for most people. Let's try out that flashlight. And there we go. Well, you know, it's okay. It's not super bright by any means. Um, it will definitely do the trick though if you are in darkness. There you go. Worth mentioning too is the flashlight will automatically time out after about 30 seconds. So you'll have to keep pressing that sucker. Ah, silly, silly, silly. To avoid that nasty uh, shutdown, what you gotta do is turn the meter on, but at the same time, hold down on that hold slash NCV button, depress them at the same time. You'll hear five beeps and you are now in non-auto shutdown mode. Yes, it will not turn off on its own. Beauty! Next up we'll try AC volts. Should be seeing about 120 volts here in North America. And yeah, 122.1. Now that's fine. So once again that auto feature found that AC signal and away we go. Beauty. What would a cheapo be without NCV? Non-contact voltage. It just wouldn't be a cheapo now, would it? Okay, we've got to hold down on that NCV feature see how okay so we have a visual indicator as well is that audible yeah seems to be fine just fine now the hand tech also does frequency but only up to 2000 kilohertz so yeah not a huge range but if we take it up 1.45 1.59 showing up as 1.55 get to the 2 kilohertz threshold and that's it, that's all. 2.1, 2.2, nothing. Bring it back down, 1.8, and there we go. So it works, but it is uh, not very powerful. One Phillips screw opens up the tilt stand battery compartment, and you can see there we have our one, two, three AAA batteries, but we do have that nice brass threaded insert, so that is a good thing. Boot came off, no problem whatsoever. And once again, a really nice quality boot. Liking it. Love that color. I just love that teal. All right, let's take a closer look at the meters themselves on the inside. Uh, yeah, no shielding. Well, no surprise. I'm telling you, the day, the day I open up one of these cheapos and I find shielding, wow, it is going to be a champagne and caviar dream day. I'm telling you, look out for that one. Taking a nice look at the inside of the little Hanmatech. Uh, starting off with those jack inputs in there, really nice, nice soldering. I gotta say, first glance, this is a really well, well um, thought out board. Very clean and uh, the PCB is spotless. No flux or residue anywhere. Attention to detail is uh, excellent. Those jack inputs started in there very nicely. Split variety. We have a small a diode clamp on the current side and on the voltage side we have this one tiny little PTC and you can see instead of a uh, standard current shunt we have one of those current sensing resistors over here uh, that is doing all the work. Now moving up the line you can see, yeah take a look at that, there's that noisy relay. They call this a uh, miniature relay, the HFD31 and it is uh, capable of withstanding up to 1500 volts. Oh, impressive. Finally over here we have our piezo 
And here are the battery headers that they contact with the batteries. Main IC is cobbed. Uh, over here we have the LEDs for the NCV and the continuity. And wow, look at that NCV. Whoa, I am impressed. I was not expecting that. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous filament. Let's just get in there a little bit closer, shall we? Yeah, and you can see how it is actually extending, uh, protruding outside of the case itself. So that hump we see on the case isn't there just for looks like on many cheapos, but it's actually there because this damn thing is so long. Check it out. Whoa, gorgeous, gorgeous. And uh, look at that solder blob. I'm telling you, those blobs mean everything. Nice attention, nice work overall. Beautiful, clean PCB. And finally at the top here, we have our LED for the flashlight. Not the brightest in the world, but it does the job nonetheless. Okay, gonna put everything back together. Go back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the Hanmatech S1 Smart Multimeter. Hey, you know what? I like it. I really do. It's got some great, great build quality, really nice modern aesthetic design. And you know what? Those visual indicators, I love them. I wish I could see this on all multimeters, cheap or not so cheap. Some of the bad things, well, let's face it, under 800 millivolts, it's useless. As you probably know, I'm not a huge fan of smart multimeters. No, but this is not a bad rendition. Overall, the build quality really surprised me. Some great, great, great attention to detail and design. Very, very nice. The Habitat S1 Smart Multimeter gets a solid three out of five stars. Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. To the next one, keep on testing. Yeah, I'm not a fan of small RT, but... One uh, Phillips screw, yeah.